Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed, and we are back up in the radio shack. We've got the Quang Shang on the bench here, and in a moment, we are going to set this up and do a spectrum scan on the aircraft band. Let me just briefly explain about this radio for anyone that's new that has come here on a YouTube recommendation and haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. This radio is a Quangshang UVK5. This is the posh version with the rather nice bezel around the screen, the 8 version. It's a very cheap um, ham radio, 2 meter, 70 centimeter transceiver. How cheap? Well, you can pick these up for less than £20. This is a genuine version, came from Banggood, cost about £26 or £27. What makes these radios unique is they're very moddable. You can very easily flash the firmware. And you can change this radio from its uh, original parameters into a wideband scanner covering a massive massive frequency spectrum very moddable what we're going to do in this video is we are going to scan the am aircraft band from uh, 117.975 to 137 megahertz if you want to know the full details on how to do a set frequency scan i'm not going to show you on this video because i've shown you on the last two videos i will link the short video to tutorial in the description let me zoom out a little bit now you can just use the built-in antenna aircraft put out very very high power on their radio and look if unless you're in the middle of nowhere you'll pick up aircraft i'm going to swap this antenna out though because i think for a little bit of an investment you can do much much better this antenna i have here is a very cheap one I bought off eBay. It's about 80 centimeters long. It's just a telescopic whip antenna. This will be fine as a wide band scanner antenna. I paid about £2.75 for this um, from China a few years ago. I looked recently from China to about £3.50. If you want one to buy one in the UK, to about £4.50, £5. The only thing you will need is one of these little tiny barrel connectors here just to adapt it to fit on the radio. These are about two or three pounds for three. So we're just going to screw this straight in the radio. So you don't have to do this. The radio will pick up aircraft on the standard antenna, but this will just increase its range. Right, let's just fully extend that. Just going to zoom into the screen now so you can see my settings. So as I said there, I've already set the range of frequency I want to scan. I'm going to hold down the 5 key now, which will put this into the scan range so hopefully you can see that on the screen so there's there's my scan range I'm now going to start the spectrum analyzer by pressing F key and 5 now when you start this as you can hear it's quite noisy because you have to set your squelch level and this is where I think the spectrum scope is really really good a few of you said on the review a few of you said that it's a gimmick and uh, I don't think it is, to be perfectly honest with you. This is now scanning at about 760 times. I'm just going to use the scan and the F key. I'm just going to raise up the um, squelch level now. And then we'll start getting signals in. I think it's so much easier to do this on the spectrum scope than just trying to do it uh, as a normal squelch. Because obviously we can now see where the transmissions are across the frequency range. Your background noise, of course, will be different. Um, it's quite high because I'm in the shack with the lights on. If I was outside, that would drop down. So I'm now going to press the F key. I'm going to bring down the squelch just above the uh, background noise. So when we do get some aircraft, it will start breaking through. If you go too far, you can always go up again. About there, I reckon. A bit more. And there we go. That is now set. As far as aircraft go, I probably get five to ten aircraft coming through every minute. Some are quite distant and uh, you can't hear them. Some are very, very clear. I am relatively close. I am relatively close to Luton Airport. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this running with the uh, with the camera. Now what I will do is when I do the editing, I'm just going to I'm I'm just going to reduce the treble down slightly because that's my only criticism of this Crankshank radio. It's a very tinny, very tinny, thin sounding speaker. 
and uh, it's a shame really they couldn't have done better with the speaker so I'll, so I'll drop the treble down slightly and uh, and then we can see I mean as far as aircraft go I mean it's you know it can be can be interesting listening to aircraft I'll be honest with you I've listened to aircraft for years um, I've never heard a mayday call or a crisis it's only generally changing their course or changing their altitude um, not the most interesting thing but it's great you can do it on a 20 pound radio anyway enough talking gonna um, set the camera going and we'll play out with some aircraft from the crankshank just on the corner of the screen, there's the thumbs up from Fred in the Shed. If you find this video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up below. I would really appreciate that. And then look in the description for some more information about this radio. Here comes some aircraft. Cheers, guys. Oh. 